Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Pretty Poison, a South African swimmer. So in today's video, I share with you another wheel spin build. So what this means is I put 41 build styles into a wheel spinner and then I let it spin and choose what build I'm going to make. So today, as you have already seen in the video, we are doing a Victorian build, which I have never done before. So this will be my first Victorian build. And... I think it turned out really great, but we will see in the video. <laughs> it was a bit difficult with the like circle part in the build. Like in Sims, it's just that working with circles is just sometimes really frustrating. But I must say, I spent a lot of time on the structure of this build and on the landscaping, which is something that usually comes quick and easy for me, but I really tried my best with this build to make it as Victorian stylish as possible because it is my first one. And I'm sure later on I will be doing more. Well, I'll do another one, maybe the wheel spins again on Victorian. So I did have quite a few challenges here, especially by the roofing part. I struggled so much. Like they were the second floor where the circle, that circle room piece is. The roof, like I couldn't figure out how to put a roof around it that doesn't clip into the house it was really frustrating but then I decided you know what I'm gonna let it be like let the roof clip into that circle part I'm just gonna on the inside of the house cut out that part so basically there is a piece in that circle area that is not like accessible in the house so it's not actually used facing the house it is more like just for the exterior look of the house so that is just for show that circle piece it's not actually usable in the house if that makes sense i hope it does <laughs> for now that is just like my workaround for this like i'm sure next time i do such a build maybe i'll get better and each time i do it i'll just get, keep getting better and improve on it i guess i hope so <laughs> but yeah this is my attempt at the victorian old style i did play a lot around with the roofing for that second floor but nothing i did worked out so this is what it's gonna be on the outside it looks really awesome i mean don't get me wrong the interior is also really great like the way i finish it but i'm quite happy with how the exterior of this house turned out i've never built a house like this before so yeah it even has like a little i don't know what you call it outside it's a pergola or something like that so i didn't quite get the window i was looking for it was not like available in the swatches that I wanted so I I set up for like this whitish swatch it it's fine you know I also used the tool mod to help me a bit with like positioning some items or maybe just like resizing it slightly and stuff like that it's a really great tool like you guys should if you if you're a builder and you're looking for a tool to really help you resize stuff and maybe position it better the tool mod is excellent for this so I think this is also like a bold way I experimented a lot with the terrain tool because I I don't know how to use the terrain tool like I tried like you'll see in this build it looks okay but it's not exactly what I was looking for it is that tool is so difficult to use I was looking for something nice to put by the entrance but then I decided to make these half walls by the entrance and then there was also a specific like fencing i was looking for but i couldn't find it in the debug menu like i have no idea where it is like sometimes i just can't find what i'm looking for in the debug stuff like i have no idea it is sometimes a bit frustrating not finding the stuff under the category that would make sense to find it under but i don't mind i make it work either way so now i am doing the painful process of using the terrain tool I don't I don't even know what to say about this tool like I've seen some of you guys' builds and it is amazing the way you guys just like sweep over the land with the terrain tool and I'm just like sitting here I'm like how do you do that how do you know it's gonna do that and it's just like wow <laughs> so I was looking for a brick wall from the dig bug mini but I couldn't find it so I used these rocks right but I do actually at the end of the build I find the wall I was looking for 
so then i do actually remove all these rocks and then put this other brick wall which actually looks way better and more victorian-ish these rocks don't really fit the style i think but i mean it looks cool but it just didn't fit the victorian vibe of the house so don't worry about that i do fix it later on and make a more better victorian fitting outer wall so uh, for the outside i also wanted to give like a lot of brick vibe so you'll see i used the terrain spray paint that is like a brick bricks for the walkway by the steps steps are also bricks and then i put some trees some bushes i don't think i ever did it with the garden i definitely did put a lot of plants to make it look look good you know but i didn't like overdo it because i didn't want to put too much i did struggle a bit here where the terrain is like uneven levels like to get the plants to not half hang in the air if that makes sense but i do figure it out eventually and make it work i also of course had to change some of the landscaping like these bushes i'm putting in the rocks when i put the walls and i did have to make some changes to these because it did not look right with the walls just like that so i did do some minor adjustments as well near the end of the video but yeah this is i think it looks really pretty though even just like this with the rocks okay so now we're on the inside of the build so the first thing i did was put the staircase to go to the second floor because i have had experiences before where i don't first put the staircase and then i end up struggling to get space to put the staircase so I have learned to complete the structure and the staircase and all that stuff before furnishing the house. And as you can see, yeah, I was struggling with the roof in that circle part. So then I cut off that room and I was just like, you know what? I am not going to struggle with this. I'm just going to cut you out and not use that little section. It will just be for decoration for outside. So that is what I did there and I think it is okay I don't feel bad about it it is what it is I will maybe in a future build I'll actually manage to get that right maybe like next time I'll just with a circle parties I'll put like a balcony instead of a roof I think that could be a nice workaround yeah I should do that next time okay so for the like the entrance I wanted to put these doors I'll by the it's like an archway and then i put doors i wanted to make it look like it's double doors that are open if that makes sense which i think turned out pretty awesome i just had to do a lot of removal of walls and stuff it's a bit like uh so much you have to do just to get the doors fitting there but it looks really cool so i am glad with the final product of that so this is the entrance so i have more space by the back entrance than the front entrance so i put like this table i put a fancy couch i think that's a victorianish style couch and i put a mirror and the carpet did i change the carpet or keep that one i can't remember right now i think there's a better carpet in any case and then i put also these floor lamps and another couch and the same carpet i see oh i do remove it i can't remember everything i did so i'm just like re-watching this uh yeah so i put the the shoe racks of course because my sims they just got this floors like the wood they just had it freshly polished and stuff so the guests they kind of need to remove their shoes so that they don't scratch the wooden floors it is really fancy stuff so this is the kitchen so in the corner i put like that's gonna be like where they wash the dishes in the corner and that's also like part of the laundry side so basically that's where they wash stuff and then yes the main part of the kitchen i love these cupboards i used for the kitchen though it is actually really beautiful cupboards that i like almost never use so i'm glad i got to use it in this bowl and then i also put like the dining room area now i guess in victorian bowls they, they usually have a bigger dining room area i don't know but like this the space fit the dining room area by the kitchen so that's why i just put it there i think it's okay it's enough like my sims they don't have this huge victorian house it's kind of small because it's a two bedroom house two bathroom 
So it's actually a small Victorian house, even though from the outside it does look kind of big. But I'm a bit scared to do a huge house. Like I will get there, I will still do a huge house, but for this one I did a small Victorian house basically. So I put also a few columns on the inside, I just thought it looks really pretty. Especially where I put two different wallpapers next to each other. So it's nice to use the columns just to like break the change, you know, make it smooth over better. And now I'm like just going through some wall art so I can put some wall art on the walls and the chopping blocks. So this like wall shelf thing with, I think it's like oil bottles. I always want to try and use it, but it just doesn't look right. I just, I wish they could have made it better or something because it looks a bit odd. I would love to use it, but it's so odd. And the, you see the wine bottles above the fridge? I love that swatch. It is so beautiful. Like, I have never seen the swatch before. Like, I've never even used those wine bottles on the wall. So, when I found this, it's like, wow, that's really amazing. Now I'm just putting some stuff on the shelf. I put some alcohol bottles, a little teapot, some spice bottles. I hope my sims don't take it off the shelf. Because I found before when I like decorate maybe with debug items and say I want to use glasses on a tray. Then I found that the glasses end up stinking and then my sims wash it. So then it kind of defeats the purpose of having a tray with glasses from the debug menu. But that's always what I'm scared of when using debug items is that my sims are going to want to take that item and throw it away or use it for something. I don't know. So right now I am placing all the clutter I want to use in this area on the floor and then I can get a better picture maybe of where I want everything to be and I add a few cupboards next to the dining area you know like where they keep their fine china type stuff so yeah I'm adding now the clutter there is more than enough counter space for my sims to actually cook food on so it is okay to have a few with clutter as well like especially the one next to the stove is it has no clutter so I made sure that there is space for them to function on the counters and then this is like the little coffee area and we also have the rice cooker so they can steam their rice or whatever and I also put the that thing from the cool kitchen pack I think it's for the ice cream but then I just put it there because I'm trying to make as if it's all the tea bags and or coffees or stuff in that thingy and this is like the laundry section so I just put a few items on the shelf and the basket with the laundry and some folded t-shirts and that is the laundry area and of course a little carpet or a rug whatever you want to call it and some lighting I think this lights fit really well with the theme of the kitchen and then I just recolor some of the items the swatches you know and that is basically the kitchen it was actually really quick like if you compare this to the outside of the house the exterior it the interior goes actually really quick but also i did cut out a lot of parts of the, doing the exterior otherwise this video will be way too long so this is the living room i did not give this house a tv i just i felt like it didn't fit the scene the tv is more something modernish so they have a living room with couches in front of a fireplace instead of a tv and then there's also like this book corner so i, I kind of like stack two bookshelves to make it reach to the top because i don't have the book nook kit yet it is definitely like on top of my list i actually recently went through all the packs i don't have and the kits and then i like made a list where i ranked them from the ones i want the most to the least so then this way i don't have to keep contemplating Ooh, which one am i gonna get i'll just go by my list Okay, so now I'm just laying out the clutter for the living room area. Now, to be honest, I did not clutter it up too much. I felt like in this type of house, you don't want too much clutter, especially in the shared space, like in the living room area. You don't want to put too much clutter. So I tried to keep it like minimal, basically. I felt like for such a house, a little, you see that little chessboard deco? I felt like it's quite fitting, like it really matches the style of this type of house. And then I put some coffee mugs on the table, you know, as if there were people now drinking coffee there and their mugs on the table. I put those triangular pillows on the floor. I think it's really pretty. 
Oh yeah, and of course we have that chessboard over there. And then I put another couch there. And I did make sure that your sim can get to the book corner. So, like everything in this build is functional. I did play test it. And then, because I sized down the coffee table, I had to use the tool mod to lower the pot plant I put on the table. Because it was like hanging in the air. And if you use circle brackets to raise or lower the item, I feel like sometimes the increment is too big. So then the tool mod is nice because you can lower it with a smaller increment basically. And then just a few plants to like fill up the space with some life. And now we head upstairs. So let me tell you guys a bit about the family I made for this house. Now they're not on the gallery. I just made them for the house tour. But it's basically... Can I even remember correctly? It's a man and a woman, or husband and wife, and they have twin teenage daughters. Now, I really love how their face features turned out, these teenage daughters. I think I'm actually gonna like go through them in CAS, this family, like make over them properly, and put them on the gallery because I just love the twins, how they came out. They're so cute. And they are redheads, the twins, but you guys will see them in the house tour. But in any case, so it is the rich man is like older and then his younger wife. And then obviously the two twin daughters. But the daughters are a bit more on the gothic side. So you'll see in their bedroom, I actually make their beds like their bedroom theme color is a bit more black. But it's still like fancy style Victorian type stuff. So yeah, this is the bathroom. I The bathrooms are very similar. The shape is just different but I use the same furniture in the two bathrooms. I really like how the first bathroom turned out like with the three shelves I put I think it's crystal creation shelves I put by the bathtub with all the clutter on. I thought that shelves is just so beautiful. But yeah that was super quick for the second bathroom because I basically just copied over the stuff from the first bathroom. So this will be the main bedroom. So I also put a fireplace in this bedroom i think i'm still gonna do that yes and then there's also that couch and then of course your bed and dressers i know when i was play testing this i couldn't my son couldn't reach the couch because of a pot plant i put there but i did make the adjustment so the version on the gallery is 100 percent play tested and functional so yeah you'll see this bedroom it's not like my usual bedrooms where i have a lot of clutter and like stuff but <laughs> i tried to keep it minimal and just make it like fancy you know i thought fancy fits well with the victorian theme i guess so that was what i was going for here and then this is the twins bedroom i really love this black bed it is actually really beautiful and then it goes well with the dark wooden tones I also put a random couch there, so maybe they have a guest over, they could sit on the bed, someone could sit on the couch, and they can all just like chill or whatever, and just like have a fun time, chit chat. So now I'm just like also placing some clutter for them. Again, it is not too much, it is rather minimal, but I feel like you can see, okay, someone is living here, they have their stuff lying around, so it still kind of gives that vibe. And now for the general area upstairs, I honestly did not know what to do in this piece of area. So I just put like some tables, some chairs, some plants and I even put a random mirror. And then of course a rug and some wall art. I just put stuff there to make it look, look like it is actually being used but it's not. It is just like waste, wasted space, dead space kind of vibes. For me, in my personal opinion. Now I hang some plants on the outside, on the porch, and then in the pergola type thing, I just put two J's and the plant, nothing fancy. And then outside, I put another chessboard, but I was like, wait, I have one inside, remember? So then I put this like table. So if they want to dine outside, they have that option to dine outside as well, not just inside. So now we are at the last part of the speed build. This is now where I finally found the walls I was looking for and now I just basically have to set them up into the build. So what I did is I put all the walls out and then I lowered them to the height I want. And then I used the terrain tool to try and smooth everything out. But then unfortunately with using the terrain tool it made some of the walls go higher 
or like out of place so then i again had to like try and raise or lower the walls to get them all at the same height so it looks like one big wall but i think it does come out okay in the end but yeah guys this is my attempt at a victorian house please do let me know what you think down below if you feel i miss something in the victorian theme that is not in this house please any tips will be greatly appreciated for maybe for a future build and yeah let me know what you think of this build like did i do okay <laughs> i think it looks really pretty but i'm not sure how well i did the victorian style you know and also before i forget to mention i am also taking build requests if anyone has a build request um this is totally for free like i never do anything paid just to put it out there and be clear because i know some simmers they do paid stuff i don't do that but and i'm also not hating on those that do i just am not doing that and um the reason why i'm mentioning this is because i'm currently working on a build request i got in one of my youtube comments it is a real house that i'm building i got the floor plans of google so yeah i'm busy working on that house it's gonna take me a while because i'm trying to do it or get it as close as possible to the pictures but i will also be sharing that hopefully next week on my channel if i can finish it this weekend but in any case yes i'm trying to do some more bold requests so that will be really awesome if you guys have any feel free to pop it in the comments i will check it out but yeah that is it but in any case guys next up is the house tour and then the screenshots so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll check you guys in the next video poison out